All right, YouTube, what's going on? We're doing a knife sale, as promised. Got some other gear as well. Lots of stuff, actually. So we'll start with the knives. We'll get into other gear first, or last. Uh, let's start with the most expensive. Why not? This is the ADV Butcher and S35 VN. This is something for a buddy. It's got blue anodized handles. Uh, it's in very, very good shape. I don't see like too many snail trails or anything on it. The blade looks pristine. Pretty much um, perfect shape actually. Uh, let's go 350 on the AD, ADV butcher, butcher. These prices are negotiable guys. Uh, no trades are being taken. And um, US sales only. And you must be over 18. All right? And then PayPal is the um, terms. The prices include shipping but do not include PayPal fees. Same stuff as usual. usual. All right, let's get into, actually this is the most expensive knife, oops. This is the Chris Reeves Sabenza, small Sabenza crosshatch. Uh, PVD coated, bronze, S35 blade. Um, has been stropped and I think touched up on some ultra fine sharp maker, that's about it. Um, the handle does not show ton, uh, very many snail trails. There's like one right here on the clip, right there. And then this side of the handle uh, shows very, very minimal wear, maybe like right here. Um, but it's really in really good shape, and look how smooth it is. It's super smooth for a Sabenza. It's just flicks open, drops on itself. 400 bones out of the box, birth date, all that good stuff. All right, uh, next, Reich Knives. This is the new Mass Drop one they just did. It's, well, it's not just Mass Drop. They launched on Mass Drop first. Uh, it comes in the zipper pouch. This is brand spanking new, guys. Just got it. Um, just got to move some knives for a upcoming trip that we're going on and just you know trying to free up some cash. My wife's got some dental stuff going on. It's life. So this is the Reich um, knives and CH knives co collab. This is an M390. It's got a like a hand rub satin blade, which is beautiful. It's the RK803 CH. It has M390 steel on bearings. It's got a nice carbon fiber inlay that's done very well. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. We're kind of far out on this. Sorry. Nice carbon fiber inlay. Um, titanium backspacer, titanium clip. Great flipping action. Kind of a quake install blade. 200 bucks for that. The Ferrum. Actually, let's go with the Megalodon um, Eclipse. I actually hate selling this knife because this thing's sweet, but I may pick one up further down the road when I have some more funds. Um, this is the new 2018 Eclipse, um, what do they call it, oh, oh, Megalodon Eclipse, that's why I'm having a hard time here. Uh, guys, this is pristine, I, I don't even think there's a scratch or anything on it, I carried it a couple times, and the blade is fresh, I never even got around to testing this one. So nice and smooth, it is on ceramic bearings, not needle bearings, like the old 2017s, but very, very smooth knife, 160 bucks. Next knife, and last knife actually, is the Ferrum Forge Crux. I know people are going to be like, I wanted you to sell me that forever ago. And I'm like, I just hold on to it and hold on to it. I just carry the Gent more, and um, you can't get these right now. I'm selling this for 100 bucks, guys. I'm sure it'll be the one of the first ones to go. It does have a few snail trails here um, on the handle and on the clip right here, which is normal for this type of bead blast finished, and right here as well. But uh, the blade is, is nice, it's sharp, and stropped. That's it. Yeah, it's still very sharp and it has a nice very smooth action 100 bucks on the crux all right so that is the knives uh, we have a couple flashlights we've got a zebra light sc600 mk3 um yeah sc600 mk3 uh these are about anywhere from 80 to 100 dollars this light is in pristine you know shape it's in basically brand new shape I'm gonna sell that one for 70 dollars comes with the box this zebra light makes amazing flashlights guys top notch next one up is the part the army tech partner c2 this is the v3 with the 2100 lumen x8 x hp 35 led this thing's a beast it's really well built really i mean built like a tank pretty much great flashlight i'm selling this one for 70 dollars also they're on sale right now for 80 on their website but you have to pay shipping to the u.s which is i think 10 to 15 dollars so get in for 70 bucks for me and that includes shipping and it comes with the box holster clip, uh, pod clip, everything that comes with it. And I have all the stuff for the zebra light as well. So, Okay, so those are the two flashlights. So those are $70 each. Alright, the next thing we're going to get into is some holsters. 
and some mag carriers and such. I've got a, quite a few that I've just accumulated over time and I just need to make some space. So uh, I've got the DeSantis. This is a pocket holster. It's the E1 model. Um, I believe it fits like the car CM9 and some smaller 9mm. It's too big for my Ruger LCP2 and all that for a Mac, but you can look it up, uh, see what model's there, and I'll sell that for eight bucks. <laughs> it's not even almost, almost, not even more shipping almost for that much. But I'm just trying to get rid of it. Eight dollars. All right, I've now got uh, this Glock 19 holster. It's made of uh, like an OD green Kydex. It's got a nice uh, clip that I really like. I'm um, gonna let that one go for 15 bucks. Glock 19. The Raven Concealments um, Vanguard 2. It's a basically a trigger guard that has a soft loop on it. This is actually a pretty cool holster. It works for any kind of Glock. It doesn't matter um, as long as it's a double stack. And it won't work for the 43, but it'll work for 17, 19, 26, any of the 40 caliber, 40 caliber, you know, just pretty much any of the, the models except for the, the 43 and the 42. It has a soft loop, and this clicks onto the trigger guard. And then you can put this soft loop around, and then when you draw, the soft loop keeps it on your belt. And so it's not the greatest for reholstering, but it's so minimal that it's a, just a very minimal holster. I really like it actually quite a bit, but I have so many holsters for my Glocks that I just don't use this very much. Um, this one I'm going to sell for $17. Next, I've got a Stealth Gear inside or Appendix Carry holster uh, for the Glock 26. This is the Revolution series Glock 26 holster, 30 bucks for that. Those are running about 60, I believe, off their site. Okay, that's all for the holsters. Now I got some magazine carriers. This is a very cool. Um, I, and these guys actually went out of business, so you can't even buy these anymore. I mean, at least I don't think they're in business anymore. I can't. Uh, when I did a video on this Hollis holster um, Glock 43 magazine carrier, this thing's awesome. It holds the Glock 43 mags. It's inside the waistband, or excuse me, outside the waistband, but it's horizontal carry. You don't see a lot of these. Um, and as far as I know, you can't even get them anymore. 40, 15 bucks for that. Next is also a... Um, I got this off eBay. It's called a Safe to Fire. This is a horizontal mag pouch for the Glock 43 and other single stack mags. Uh, $13 for this one. That's a horizontal mag pouch. And the last one is a Safari Land horizontal mag carrier. This works for um, any of the... 17 round or the Glock 1722, but it'll fit the 19, it'll fit all kinds. And this is also a horizontal magazine carrier. You slide your belt through, and it's made by Safari Land. Um, that one I'm going to sell for $13. So that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Lots of stuff. Good, some good holsters in there. Got some awesome knives, some good flashlights, so all kinds of good stuff. I'll put the, my email in the description below. That is the best way to contact me, is by email. And that's how I will take new payment. That's what we'll negotiate, all that stuff. So comment down below that you want a knife and then email me. And that's how we'll handle it as we usually do. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.